There we are. Yes, I have a little bit of mess. We'll get back to that. And are we having fun yet? That's the main question. Still working on sand dollars. It's a tough job, but somebody's got to do it, right? Still evolving and making. Early, early for me. I know. Nobody usually catch. They usually catch me in the middle of the night. I'm trying something new. Changing my strategies. There we go. Just a little bit more of this. You can't see what I just did, but it, yeah. I, yeah, you can, barely, okay. There we go. And layer it in to the bottom. heat and press. Actually, we don't really need to heat and press it. It'll come into its own, as I say. Mm -hmm. Now the C is ours. To constrict it down. Not really to cut it off because well that will work I guess no. I did hold on to it good. That's what I need first. Touch there. Yeah. These are a pair of needle nose that I created just for this event. Because you want the top to be that slightly pointed cone. So what I do is I just sort of pinch it towards the center. Like so. Tap it off there and put it to the other side so I can do the same. Looking good otherwise. Looking good otherwise. I like the way it's looking, actually. Most of the shape is there because you can see it's sort of has that flying, almost flying saucer look. That's what you lack. That's what you're here after. So if you believe in the hereafter, that's what you're here after. Okay. Next step. Good morning. 
Good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching it from. Sometimes it could be halfway around the world and it's, it's evening time. That's the craziest thing about my my videos. They're all over. If and you know what I mean. Now, the idea is to punch four side holes and one in the middle, sort of. Like so. Hole punch is a I have a YouTube video on that, and I can put the uh, description down below, or the URL down below on, on how I made these. Um, pretty sim pretty straightforward. Oh, that needs to be on there for a little while longer. Now, when you punch, you got to get both sides soft. And sort of ream it out a little bit more. It, it, you sort of punch through and you hear a crunch and then you keep and then melt it down a little bit more. You heard that, I think. Yes, I have chicken. And it is morning. So they get a little rambunctious. <laughs> okay. This is the top. And this one hole you do a little bit different. You go in a little bit deeper. Do the same thing, punch it through. But then you elongate it a little bit as well. Back and forth, like so. And you got the basic shape. Or the basic hole structure for a starfish. Now the next thing I've this is the latest design style is now I take it down to a single oops. Let's do this right. I do it down to a single flame. Ah Bring it down. There you go. And now make a star using stringer, clear stringer. That's what I'm going to use. And I've got done a long time ago. Oops, that fell on the floor. Like so. Now, top goes right there. Don't worry, I'll be coming back in with tweezers and defining them a little bit better. I think this is the best one that I've done in a while. Maybe I'll start coming out here in the morning a lot more often. And you can add a little bit more glass to each one of those. Like so. Okay. I'm going to add a little bit of Excuse me. Ooh. 
little bit of outer outer ring stuff, but you don't really need it. It's just me, I'm being lazy. I'm trying to get it done a little faster. Yeah, I think I like these. Now, where you've added more glass to the center, all you gotta do is pinch a little bit, heat and pinch, pull it off. And also to give it a little bit of ridge funny looking stuff. Not a lot, just a little impression. And funny thing, you know, the only place I really added the white glass was to the bottom. And the craziest thing about that is even the stringer that I just put on has that frosted white or, you know, frosted white look. And it's clear. So it, light travels. Okay, I need to work on the top. And make a bale. Besides, I didn't really get a chance to uh, uh, let's see this. I uh, don't really have to use this 10 mil rod to do this with. But I will anyway. Again, you do it. If you're just stringing it out to make the bale, you pull it out into a question mark shape and just heat it up and let gravity work. And then you can take and ream it out a little bit. Uh, that's looking good. Looking real good. Like I say, I think this is one of the best ones that I've done in a very long time. I'm finally getting the, um, the logistics down on these babies. Before I put that loop on there, I should have done the, uh, the pressings, but we'll get there. What I mean by the pressing is like that. <sighs> looking good, looking good. Well, folks, yeah, I think I'm going to pull just a little bit of the nib off the middle again. Oh, yeah. I like it like that. I like it like that, baby. I like it like that. Fire polish down here. And with that, I think he's done. And let's go ahead and get that in the oven. Another one bites the oven, another one bites the oven, and another one's down, and another one's down, and another one bites the oven. Oh! Yeah. Well, I'm going to call this one quits, mainly because I want this episode, or this video, 
up and downloaded, I guess you could say, so I can go ahead and uh, I think I'm going to put this one to YouTube because it was the best one that I've done in a while. And as always, thanks for watching. Carpe Vitro and enjoy your day.